Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a guide on how to create a photography portfolio on Behance. I'll show you how to set up your own Behance account, customize your profile and upload your best shots so potential clients or employers actually get to see your amazing skills. So by the end of this video tutorial, you will have a professional looking online photography portfolio that you can share with anyone. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're wondering on why you should use Behance, Behance is one of the most popular platforms for creatives like photographers, graphic designers, illustrators, and many more. Thousands of people browse Behance every day looking for inspiration or talent to hire. So by having a Behance account, you put your work in front of a huge audience. And best of all, it's completely free to set up and easy to manage even if you are just starting out. So to set up your account on Behance, you of course want to go ahead and visit Behance.net. If you have an Adobe account, you can use that one to log into Behance. If not, you can easily create your account using your Google account, Facebook, Apple, etc. So sign up with a new account or log into your existing account if you have one. Fill in any required information such as your name, email address, and password, and then verify your account through any confirmation email or phone number if prompted. Now, once you have signed in, you will land on the Behance homepage. This is where we can see various creative projects shared by other users. Now, when you create your accounts, you'll be prompted to pick one or more topics where they can recommend you creative work that you will actually be interested in. You can choose whatever you like, but in our case, we're going to continue with photography just in case we want to get some kind of inspiration from already successful users. For a photography focused portfolio, you might also want to pick photojournalism, portrait, travel photography, fashion photography, etc. Again, these choices help Behance personalize your feed as you will start seeing recommended projects in those fields so that you can gain inspiration and keep track of what others in your industry are doing. Now, after choosing your interests, you will find yourself on the main Behance dashboard. Onto this page, you are able to see the Discover page where you can explore popular or trending projects. If you need ideas for your photography style or layout, this is the perfect place to start. There is also the For You page where Behance gives you personalized recommendations based on the interests that you picked. There is also a section for Hire as it is designed for employers looking for creative talent. As a photographer, you will want to keep this in mind because it's also how potential clients might find you. You. So potentially you could reverse engineer this process to see how a client might find your own profile. There's also the profile icon. So clicking on your own profile icon, as you can see in the top right corner, will take you to your profile settings, your projects, and any other account features. So even if you already have a body of work to share, you might want some fresh ideas or insights about how to present your images. And this is where the discover and hire sections become useful. For example, let's go to the discover area and search for photography. Look through any featured or trending projects. Notice how other photographers organize their portfolios. Maybe some of them use use grids of images while others focus on big full screen photos. Check out the color schemes, fonts, or even the way they write their project descriptions. So again, we're doing this to find inspiration, which doesn't mean copying. You want to observe trends and learn from others' best practices. This process helps you refine how you'll present your own photography. So now that we have some sort of inspiration, let's go ahead and focus on our personal space. Your Behance profile is what people see when they click on your name or find you through a search. Think of it like your digital business card. So it's important to make it look appealing and professional. Starting with the profile picture as your profile pic adds a personal touch. If you're a photographer, consider using a simple portrait or a logo if you have one for your own photography brand. So click on your profile icon, select edit profile, and then upload an image from your computer. Make sure it's a clear photo or brand mark so people can recognize you very quickly. There's also the cover image, which is a little bit like Facebook or Twitter banner. This is a great place to showcase case one of your best shots or something that represents your style. So keep in mind that it will also appear as a white banner, so choose or crop a photo that fits well in a horizontal layout. Below your profile and cover image, you will see some spaces for your name, location, and occupation. So go ahead and input your own name or brand name if you prefer that. For the occupation, for example, portrait and wedding photographer, or maybe use freelance photographer. And as for the location, feel free to add your own city and country if you want local clients to find you. If you have a photography Instagram, a website, or a YouTube channel, you want to link them here. This way, anyone curious to see more of your work beyond Behance can easily check you out or reach out to you on other platforms. 
For the about me section, use simple friendly language to talk about your background as a photographer. So mention how long you've been photographing, your favorite photography subjects, and any notable clients or features when applicable. I highly recommend that you keep it concise but informative. People like to get a little bit more personal about the individual behind the camera. And now that we have our profile set up, we would want to go and create our first project. So in Behance, a project is how you group and present your work. Each project can include images, text, and even video or embedded content. For a photography portfolio, you might create different projects or different photo shoots, themes, or categories. To start a new project, you want to click share your work or look for a create a project button. A blank project page will open where you can start adding your photos and the descriptions. After that comes the time to upload your actual photographs. So for example, let's say that you are creating a project around a specific topic. In that case, you might do the following. You want to click add media select the photos from your computer and then arrange them in an order that tells a story or flows nicely. A tip I would give is that if you are building a set of street photography images, you might order them from daytime or nighttime shots. You may also order them from less crowded spaces to very busy city scenes. The key is to guide your audience through your visual narrative. Along with your photos, add some context. Viewers love to know the story behind the images. So for example, you can include the location where you took the photos, your camera gear for example shot on Canon and then mention the model, a short backstory if you want to about the environment or your inspiration. Behance also allows you to add tags related to your work. So for photography, you might add tags like photography, street photography, urban, city, documentary, or whatever style you're going for. You can also note the tools used such as Photoshop, Lightroom, or any other software if you edited your images. This helps others find you if they are looking for someone skilled in any of these tools. Before you publish, make sure to give your project a clear title. A solid title can catch people's attention and show your style better. Additionally, you can choose the visibility settings so you can make your project public so everyone can see it or private if you only want select people to view it. For a portfolio, it's best to keep it public so potential clients can discover your work. When everything looks good, hit publish. And once published, you can share your project link on social media, your personal website, or in your email signature. The more that you share, the more views and potential opportunities you will get. Now these days, simply uploading photos might not cut it. I'm going to share with you some extra tips to make your portfolio really pop. I highly recommend using consistent editing styles, so if you prefer bright, airy photos, make sure most of your images share the same vibe. This consistency helps viewers remember your style and also adds a layer of aesthetic. I would recommend grouping related photos together in a way that creates a visual flow. If it's a travel shoot, try to arrange images so people can follow the trip. Now, if your photos have a deeper story, mention it. People love reading quick insights about how you captured a particular moment. And finally, highlight your best shots, as in, don't upload everything you have, stick to your best, most representative pieces. A smaller collection of high-quality photos can be more impressive than a huge set of average images. You want to describe each photo by writing a short line for each image, explaining what elements you focused on, such as the lighting or the composition. You can use tags like minimalism, photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, etc. if you edited them. And once done, you can publish and share your project link with everyone. This kind of detailed approach can be adapted to any photography theme that you choose like fashion, nature, events, weddings, or portraits. Even though Behance allows you to upload images directly, you might want to design certain layouts or pages for your portfolio. For that, you can use tools like Canva. For instance, you can create some kind of highlight photos or add text overlays or brand elements if you have a personal logo. You can also export your design from Canva as high resolution in PNG. Then you can upload that design as a featured image or part of your Behance project. This adds another layer of creativity and organization to your portfolio. And this is especially helpful if you want to present a cohesive brand identity. And speaking of brand identity, you want to think about how you want to present your Yourself. So when it comes to the color palette, do you often shoot in warm tones or do you prefer black and white? Maintaining a consistent color style can help your portfolio feel more unified. Now when it comes to fonts, when you add text images or create custom graphics, pick one or two fonts and stick to them throughout your projects. And if you have a personal brand or a watermark, you want to make sure it appears in a subtle way on your photos cover images. Keeping these details consistent across your Behance projects will help people remember you more easily. And finally, the hire section on Behance is a goldmine for finding work or getting discovered by potential clients. 
And the way I would say that you can leverage it is that you can set your availability. So if you are open for freelance, you want to make sure that it's visible on your profile. Set a list of your services. Be clear about what types of photography you offer, portraits, events, commercial, product photography, etc. Additionally, you can add contact information by providing an email or a link to a contact form on your website. This makes it easy for someone to reach out to you. So additionally, if you are ever looking for additional gigs, you can also scroll through job postings under the hire. Some companies post direct job opportunities or freelance projects over there. And finally, I want to say that Behance is not just a portfolio site, it's also a community. You can follow other photographers or freelancers whose work you admire or you like their projects. Engaging with others can help you build relationships and maybe open the door to collaborations or referrals. So when you see a project that you love, you can click the appreciate button, pretty much like a thumbs up on other other platforms and then you can follow photographers or other creatives in a similar field to keep up with their latest work. By being active and supportive you also encourage others to look at your profile which can lead to more exposure and connections. And that will be all on today's video thank you so much for watching. Throughout this video we've seen how creating a photography portfolio on Behance can be a straightforward process that can open doors to new clients, collaborations and fans of your art. We've covered how you can sign up, customize your profile and give you additional tips on the whole process that way your portfolio can actually stand out from the crowd so once again thanks so much for watching this video if you have found it to be helpful or informative to watch then go ahead and give us a thumbs up and definitely don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel that way you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one